I went to bed as normal in the evening and during the night I had problems trying to breathe. I was really fighting for breath. The wife, about six o'clock in the morning, she phoned 111. They put her on to a doctor and they said, how about the RACU? A patient will be referred here by a healthcare professional, someone who's looked at them already, and when they get here they'll be assessed very quickly by the right person. Sometimes that might be a, a doctor or a nurse, other times it might be a therapist. As we arrived, the nurse was there with the wheelchair, straight in, up into the ward, onto the bed. The nurse came over and introduced herself, I'll be looking after you today. Any healthcare professional can refer a patient to the Rapid Access Care Unit, to RACU. We get a variety of patients from the 41-year-old lady with young kids at home with a, a kidney infection to a 93-year-old gentleman looking after his wife with dementia. We see a lot of conditions, particularly in elderly patients, difficulty walking following a fall. We see infections, heart failure, problems with your lungs infections in your foot. We see a broad range of conditions here. My condition is emphysema, but they call it COPD now. And I've had it about 12, 13 years. And I think obviously it was caused through me smoking for about 50 years. The benefits of the RACU for the health system are that we are keeping patients out of hospital. Patients are not needing to attend A&E and that takes a lot of strain off the acute trust. You can come home in the evening like before they shut and at least you're back home with your family and you can talk about what experience you've had. Then you go back the next day and then come home that evening and you can talk to your family again. Patients definitely benefit from this kind of working because we're seeing them close to home. They get same day or next day appointments and they are assessed by consultants, nurses and a full team of professionals who offer them an excellent service. I would hope that it's like being an inpatient whilst being an outpatient. So coming in and having intensive treatments and whatever's required getting support at home and then going home and having your creature comforts and your family and friends nearby and able to support you. I was worried about the wife and um, Kirsty, she's in charge of it, she phoned the wife about every two to three hours to say what was happening and what was doing. The doctors, there was two lady doctors, they come round quite regular. <coughs> Nothing was too much like a cup of tea. The RACU is a really good idea. Everybody who we've seen has been pleased with the service. It's great for staff because we have the time to see patients get proper histories and do proper management plans. It's helpful to have like a one-stop shop of everything all in one place. And I think lots of people want to avoid going into hospital if they can. They want to stay independent and at home. And I think we're really well placed to do that. We all come together like a big jigsaw. We each have our own roles, but within that, when we do come together, we get a good picture of healthcare for a person accessing our service. I felt 100% better when I got home. I would recommend RACU to anybody if they've got to go. I would give them 10 out of 10. I love my job because it gives people back the lives that they want to live. All of our feedback so far from patients um, has been extremely positive. The RACA way of working is the way to go because it keeps people out of A&E, it keeps them at home, it keeps them independent. And that directly benefits patients because they have services closer to home, they're much closer to families and we try and stop them being admitted. I would love to see that rolled out across the country. I think it would benefit patients everywhere. Yeah, Raku, build as many as you can. <laughs>